With spring just around the corner, it's time to revamp our wardrobes with some fresh transitional outfits for 2024. From timeless trench coats to fabulous skirts, versatile loafers to statement denim, and don't forget the cool outerwear to complete your look. This video will provide you with plenty of ideas using items that you already have in your closet and also showcase some new finds if you're looking to freshen up your wardrobe. All right, let's dive in. This look consisting of a white button-up shirt, jeans, and a pair of loafers might look like your standard wardrobe basics from afar, but upon closer inspection, it's the details that make these items special. The crisp white button-up is a contemporary take on a classic, having been cropped at the waist and left with an exposed raw hem. I didn't realize until making these style videos just how many items in my closet have raw hem details. Clearly, this is something that really speaks to my personal style, but of course, if it's too much for you, there are lots of cropped white shirts out there with finished hems that can give you a similar look. The jeans are boot cut, and yes, I said boot cut, and they have a really cool double waist detail. As much as I love a good pair of classic 501 jeans, there's something really fun about styling a pair of statement denim. I style the look with a classic pair of Destin loafers from Hermes, these feature the iconic palladium plated Kelly buckle and they have black leather. They also fit true to size by the way and they are incredibly comfortable. I didn't have to break these shoes in at all. Is it really spring if we aren't talking about trench coats? Trench coats are one of those hot items for spring that will always come back in style. Whether it's a classic cotton trench in khaki or something a little bit more edgy like this leather trench coat from Novo London, pick one that speaks to your personal style. This look is going to combine some spring trends that I'm loving. Preppy, interesting jackets, and wide leg jeans. To make this t-shirt slash jean combo more preppy, I'm gonna layer on a cotton knit vest from Uniqlo C's spring collection. I ended up getting this one in a size extra small, and I like how it's maintained the boxy silhouette and it hits me just at the waist. It's the perfect length to have a belt peeking through. For the shoes, I'm going for a pair of Andamila Meester boots that I picked up on sale for over 70% off on Essence during the sale season. I've always wanted a pair of Andy boots, but I've always held back because I've heard that they're rather difficult to break in. So before diving into this purchase, I just watched countless reviews and I watched a few TikToks by Brenda Hashtag and I just decided to bite the bullet and get them. This jacket is from a Korean brand called Maison Marseille. It's a very cool contemporary Korean brand that's stocked at W Concept. Of all the brands on W Concept, this one has to be one of my favorites, along with Dunst and Nothing Written. They take classics and reinterpret them in a contemporary way that feels fresh and still timeless. By the way, I got my jacket in a size 34. I'm usually a size extra small or small in tops. This one is made of 90% cotton, 10% nylon, and it has a really soft texture that's reminiscent of wool. For my handbag, I opted for the classic Bottega Veneta bucket bag in black. The finished look combines the preppy aesthetic that we're seeing stick around in 2024 with an edgy undertone, which of course is very much my style. So I recently featured this look on my Instagram, but after posting it, I thought, hmm, I could do better. For one, I was missing a belt in the original look and I felt like it was an important detail to break up all the white and also to define the waist. This Jill Sander Canolo belt has been on my radar for the last year and I finally got it when it was on final sale at Essence. This is one of those runway items that I've pinned so many times on Pinterest that have been on my fashion mood boards and has been on the top of my wish list season after season. I also finally picked up the Jill Sander Canolo bag in black leather, which is another long-awaited wishlist item. A while back, I had picked up the creamy soft ivory one and I ended up returning it because I knew it was the black one that I really wanted. By the way, this one is in the mini size. I styled this look with my Maison Margiela tabby boots. These fit true to size and the leather is so soft that unlike my Andamila Meester boots, they don't have to be broken in. The final look is completed with this long tan wool coat from Own Feature Color. 
The bold shoulders in the masculine silhouette are giving YSL vibes, and it's the perfect everyday coat. It's also an excellent pairing for that slim-fitting denim skirt, and it looks great with this all-white look. Lucky for us, comfortable shoes are in this spring, and we're seeing a lot of flats. From ballet flats to loafers, these are the shoes that I'm looking forward to wearing. I got these Acne Studios loafers back in December and I can't wait to wear them once the snow melts. As of right now, I've only worn them around the house whenever I'm creating style videos. They fit true to size and according to my Acne Studios essay, these are super comfortable. They look fabulous and effortless with a simple maxi skirt and a white Uniqlo t-shirt, but since it's still chilly in the spring, I'm going to layer on a knitted vest with brown tones featuring the Acne Studios face. This is another sales score by the way, and I'll link it below in case you're interested. The tan wool coat carries on the motif of the brown tones, and it gives this outfit a cohesive color story of three shades, brown, black, and an accent of white. Visually, this gives the outfit a harmonious feel, preventing it from appearing too busy or overwhelming the eye. For my handbag, I'm opting for my Bottega Veneta bucket bag. It's such a classic item, and I love how it just leans into the preppy aesthetic of this outfit. This look is all about the beautiful feminine A-line skirt from the Cos Spring 2024 collection. This ladylike Medi skirt features a tailored wrap style that's 100% wool, and best of all, it has front pockets. I find the bottoms at Cos don't always fit me the best, but this skirt is so flattering and so unique that I couldn't resist. I styled it here with a simple oversized crop t-shirt from the Uniqlo C collection that I picked up in a size extra small. My only complaint with this pairing is that the blacks don't match, but I'm going to be layering a coat over top, so I'm not going to let this hold me back. To introduce an unexpected edgy element to the A-line skirt, I'm going to style it with these super cool Medi Calf Moto boots from a Korean brand called Kiho. I got these in a size 240, which is a size 37 according to the size chart. They do fit a little bit big, so I just popped an insole inside, and now they're fantastic. They're also very comfortable, by the way, and perfect for spring. The beauty of spring weather is that we can still play around with outerwear. This oversized blue sun jacket from Facade Pattern is everything that I love about transitional weather fashion. It's made from a blend of Australian wool and Peruvian alpaca fabric, and it's 17% nylon. The voluminous sleeves mean that it's perfect for layering chunky knits underneath, or in my instance, just a comfortable cotton t-shirt. By the way, I'm 5'4", and the sleeves on this coat are a little bit too long for me, so I just roll them up, but eventually I am gonna be taking them to the tailor, along with the 3,000 pair of pants that I need hemmed. I added a palladium plated Loewe pin to the jacket for a little pop. This is one of the items that's for sale on my closet website, by the way, where I do sell my closet. All of the items there are authentic, I currently ship to Canada and the US, and I'll be linking it below in case you're interested in shopping my closet. For the finished look, I opted for my Bottega Veneta bucket bag once more. It's such a great timeless piece, and I think that it particularly works well with this outfit. I hope you've enjoyed all of these outfit ideas. Feel free to tag me on Instagram if you replicate any of them, as I always love to see how you're styling your looks. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel to show me some love, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.